Yeah, even though that's what we just saw, apparently the Avatar was really tired from all this becoming a god business and decided to go back to his home in fucking Avatar, Texas and sleep it off for a while instead. Sure. I mean, I, I guess I can understand that. It's not like there was any sense of urgency to get back to Britannia. Oh, wait! Your two worlds will be crushed. Britannia first, then Earth. How do you fuck this up? I know I said I kind of retired the bit, but I gotta do it. I gotta break out the plot hole counter gimmick. Betrayal! So, for those of you playing at home, see if you can guess how high we'll finally end up getting. But, uh, my personal advice... Woo! Avatar, arise from your slumber. The guard... Yeah, I passed out! Never mind, I'm okay! The Guardian has invaded Britannia. What, the Guardian, you say? No shit? Actually, you learn just a little bit later in the game that the Guardian really invaded Britannia about 20 years ago in Britannian time. And not only does the Avatar seem surprised and completely unaware that's even happened, Betrayal! but the guy talking to you talks like it just happened a few minutes ago, which may not seem like that big of a mistake to get all that worked up about, except for the fact that the guy making this mistake is the fucking Time Lord! Betrayal! The Guardian has invaded Britannia. And Lord British has summoned you for your final adventure. Well, then why didn't he summon my ass 20 goddamn years ago? Betrayed me! The Time Lord, no, not that one, this Time Lord, he tells you to get all your gear and get ready to go back to Britannia. This whole thing is obviously a tutorial level to get you acclimated to the new interface, but why couldn't we just do this in Britannia or in a flashback? What was the point of this, of changing the ending here and relocating everything to fucking Texas? What was the reasoning behind completely alienating your fan base by screwing your continuity in the fucking ear? Betrayed me! Why the fuck do I have a book about how fun it is to read books? Is the Avatar fucking retarded? Betrayed! Uh, you know what? Stupid question, as you'll soon see. Oh, fuck you, EA! You killed Ultima! Fuck you! Surely you will not go adventuring without clothes. I think your clothes are in the bathroom. Where everyone keeps all their clothes. Oh, what, do people on Earth keep their clothes in their bedrooms? What idiots! You go get all your gear, like a belt with quick inventory slots, a backpack, a compass, a journal. Everything except your orb of the moons. You know, that immensely powerful and useful thing that opens moon gates. I guess we won't need that, since we stopped the moon gates from working in Ultima 7. Oh, wait! This game sucks! <laughs> Doors do not sound like this. I mean, not even the ones they made of steel in the 1940s. Listen to this. Oh my god! It's not real. It's not real. It's not happening again. It's all in your head. Why does the Avatar have a hopscotch thing in his driveway? Big hopscotch player, is he? Betrayal! You go to a public park, which is apparently the only way out of your house, just think for a second how much sense that makes, and you run into a fucking wolf! Yeah, this public park apparently has a serious problem with dangerous roving packs of deadly timber wolves. Something I would probably bring up at the next city council meeting. Wait, wait what the fuck? There's a pirate in the park, too? What's with this guy? He just sees me in the park and brandishes a fucking cutlass? Betrayed me! Great, I just murdered a man in a public park. Great. Now I get to tell the cops that I'm the fucking Avatar and I'm on serious Avatar business. Uh, giant spiders, too? There's giant spiders in the park. That thing was the size of a fucking football! Betrayal! Is there anything else? Any other enormous, mythical, verminous monsters you want to throw into a Texas children's playground? Wesley, what about the R.O.U.S.'s? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. What the fuck? Now what is this shit? Look, all my skills are at novice. Betrayal! Strength is weak, Betrayal! dex is clumsy, Betrayal! and intelligence is dip. Fuck you! Betrayal! Where'd all my shit go? The magic shit I got from Pagan. The obscene magical powers. At the end of Pagan, you become the titan of fucking ether, the god of all magic. And now my intelligence is dim. This game sucks! What, did the Avatar go back to Earth and spend eight months huffing paint? Fuck. 
So you fight your way through all the pirates and the R.O.U.S.s, and you find a gypsy wagon and do the usual tarot card thing to pick your starting class. But here's a pro tip, don't pick a spellcasting class, because unbeknownst to you, magic in Britannia doesn't work until way, way later in the game. So if you pick a mage, your main strength is completely useless, so you're fucked. More fucked, in fact, than if you pick the weakest class, the shepherd, because at least the shepherd starts with a good weapon. There is much you can learn here that will help you on your journey. What journey? What? What journey? Hello? The Guardian? Fucking... Remember the Guardian? Betrayal! What journey? You destroyed an entire fucking planet to get back to fighting him. Long have you been the savior of Britannia. Eight times before you have made this trip. Nope, wrong. It was seven times going to Britannia, because some of the games in the series, like Pagan, didn't take place on Britannia. To help you on your way, your strength, dexterity, and intelligence will be increased when you go through the portal to Britannia. Why? Your knowledge of the land shall be great. <laughs> oh my god, you guys don't even know how funny that is yet. Once you arrive in Britannia, you will find a chest of supplies appropriate to your chosen path that I have left for you in the Tower of Stonegate. Why wouldn't I go to Castle British? Why would I go to Stonegate? That's not even close where I need to be. Betrayed me! Anyway, you run around the park getting yourself outfitted with armor and weapons, and once you're ready for battle, a moon gate opens up and it's purple! Wrong! Wrong! This is wrong! Moon gates are not fucking purple and never have been! Betrayal! So you step through the purple moon gate, and appear on a mountaintop, and what happened to the moon gate? I should have appeared by stepping through the other side of the purple moon gate, which you just fucking showed me! Now I appear by some kind of Mega Man teleport beam. Betrayal! You see the Guardian's head-shaped fortress, which by the way looks nothing like it did at the end of Ultima 8. Betrayed me! And then a dragon appears, so the Avatar reaches for his weapons, which are now missing for no reason that is ever explained. This game sucks! How? Why? I ask because moon gates do not steal your weapons. And what did we spend all the time collecting shit on Earth for anyway? And the Avatar doesn't look anything like he did at the end of Ultima fucking 8. Sucks! So without your weapons, the dragon just immediately incinerates you. Ah! Never mind, I'm fine somehow, but I'm in my underwear on a completely different tower. Uh, now I'm in a bedroom somewhere! Ah! Why am I alive? I'm completely unmoored, I'm bilocating, and the game hasn't even started! Where am I? Sucks! You will not be safe here at Stonegate for long. Unlike on Earth, you are now vulnerable. Implying that on Earth I wasn't vulnerable? Well, let's see what our inventory is like. Uh, my clothes and backpack survived the trip, uh, although nothing inside the backpack did except for a loaf of bread. Betrayal! Okay. No weapons. Ah, my sextant is here, so I'll just use that to figure out where I am. Even though using a sextant indoors is impossible. Betrayal! And when you exit Stonegate, guess what? The skies are blue! Nothing like the red skies we just saw! Betrayed me! When you get to the only exit, you find it blocked by a dude with huge shoulder pads called a worm guard. They're called that because they ride dragons, only they never actually do it in the game, just in that one cutscene. My master will be most pleased with me when I bring you to him. Uh, hey dude, you kind of forgot your dragon, and you might kind of need him, because if you had a dra- all I've got is a dagger. If you had a dragon, I might just kind of give up. Okay, well, I just killed the fearsome worm guard with a dagger. Not so tough without his dragon, is he? So in the cave the guy is guarding, you find a teleporter. And, and get this, you're gonna love this. Guess where the teleporter goes? Castle British, right in the middle of the fucking courtyard. So, you have arrived at last. My name is Hinnington. I'm Lord British's Seneschal. Why the fuck would this exist? How? Betrayal! The Guardian literally has a teleporter from his front door to the middle of Lord British's castle. He could walk right in and just kill everyone instantaneously. And may I remind you very quickly that magic isn't supposed to be working right now. You're told this fairly quickly by the court mage who can't cast any magic spells. Betrayal! Oh, what's that? The court mage of Castle British is some old dude named Nystal and not this young lady? Well, I'm glad you noticed because he's not here and he's never mentioned by anyone and the Avatar never questions his absence. Betrayal! And there's no Sherry the Talking Mouse either. Betrayal! And sadly, no fucking chuckles. And oh, to wonder what he'd have been like in this fucking piece of shit game. This game sucks! And I guess in 20 years they tore the whole castle down and rebuilt it from scratch because the floor plan of this castle is nothing. And I mean, 
nothing like it was in the previous games. Betrayed me! But returning to Lord British himself, check this out. I, look, immediately, just wrong, you know? Why is Lord British so fucking old now? It's only been 20 years, which may seem like a lot, but it's nothing in Britannian time. Suddenly he's gone from hale and hearty to this broken down old codger. Beat!